Hello and welcome to yet another photo shoot video. We're here with Daria again and today I'll be attempting to actually photograph with a bathtub. To be honest with you guys, I, be, I have never done something like this before so I'm kind of nervous and also excited. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be trying with white first and I really want pure white but it seems to be really really hard to get so we'll see how it will turn out. Uh, we also have some props being the flowers and I couldn't find grapefruits. Apparently it's very rare in Thailand out of all the fruits. Uh, but but yeah, I got mandarins instead, which yeah, I guess it adds a little bit to the contrast and the color, but otherwise I think, yeah, we can definitely try something with it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Because of how big the bathtub is, maybe you can do like an overhead kind of shot. Mm. Uh, so um, I was thinking, would you be comfortable uh, having like your head kind of like um, no. kind of almost submerged? Yes, like that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Could you move a little bit here? Then I have your head a bit more away from yeah. Now I'm just adjusting the mandarins. So this shoot is actually very different from what I usually shoot. I'm not out in the city shooting urban photography, shooting portrait photography. But this shoot has been kind of in my mind for quite a while now and I finally got a chance to execute it, so I'm really excited about this shoot and I would also like to share my first experience with you guys, what I learned and yeah, how it went. And unlike in my other shoots, I'm actually shooting with just one camera and one lens and that is the R5 with the 28-70mm f2 and I'll be using between f2 and f4 in this photo shoot. And here I decided to actually turn off the light because the light was actually reflecting some of the light bulbs on the water and also casting my shadows over Daria and of course the water itself and that is something that I really don't want. So I decided to actually turn off the light and raise up the ISO a little bit and that actually gives me a really nice kind of softbox feel because the bathroom is actually surrounded by glass that actually transmit light from outside into the room. So yeah, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, a bit higher. And then go back down. Oh. <laughs> I like it when your, your, your hair spreads out mm -hmm. uh, when you lift it up and then... <laughs> oh, it only stayed for a very short amount of time. <laughs> Guys, this is actually more difficult than it looks in the video because not only that the mandarin are, are consistently moving around and the flower petals are flipping upside down but also... How did the daisy get in here? Into the flower? Okay. But also, the mandarins are also flipping upside down as well and it's just really hard to control. On top of that, this is a really big bathtub, so Daria is just um, slipping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because we have like three bath bombs inside the bathtub right now. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, if there's even a slight movement, all the flower petals, all the mandarins move to completely different places and some of them just flips. So when shooting this, having patience is definitely one of the requirements. Yeah. Try. 
actually, you know what? Would you be comfortable having uh, an orange just like on one oh, of your no. eyes? Okay, let me wash one of them. I'll look for it. Actually, oh, we threw it away. Lo, you only have better. Okay, this one's probably the most. I'll wash it. Are you okay? Really? <laughs> it's really too big for your head. Wait, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost, almost. This is really nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think we have it. I think yeah, we can try to uh, maybe put color in there. Okay. <laughs> So here I decided to actually change into a different color for the water and rather than having the same poses I just think that it might be interesting to also try different colors and also completely try different poses So rather than having the same poses where Daria would be kind of laying down having her face semi submerged from the water Why not have her leaning sideways and I think it would actually give a more interesting depth to the series of photos So yeah Yeah, yeah a little bit of body Popping up. That's okay. Do you want to look for that? It's slippery, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe sink down a little bit. Maybe sink your body down a little bit. I think then it's okay because I think it's really too so slippery, right? Mm -hmm. Then how about your whole body still down but you're on the side but just like half your face is up. Just half. <laughs> Maybe it's best to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, and if you're photographing something like this, make sure that you always get the permission from the model if you want to, let's say, adjust her hair or move certain elements around her, things like that, so that you're also respecting the model and also you get that consent from her as well that you can do it. So yeah, just be aware of this. Can you come a bit over here? Yeah, that's good. A bit more down? I think, yeah, yeah, just, just hold, 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 a bit more down, yes, like that. Whew. I think we have it. So, yeah, that was it for this photo shoot. <laughs> It'll take quite a while for this to drain, but um, yeah, I hope you also can gain something from this video. I know it's kind of like a little fail because not everything actually went according to what I imagined it to be. And also the bathtub is kind of too big for my concept as well. And also having this edge up here really posed a little bit of a challenge. But uh, yeah, it's all also like all about kind of learning curve and also overcoming the limitations. But yeah, I really hope you guys can actually gain something from this video. If you need a free photography guidebook, the link is down in the description section below. It's absolutely for free. Um, yeah, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now. Bye.